Alright, so as you can see, it's uh, snowing outside, so it's not exactly uh, riding weather. Um, as I'm bored, I thought I'd uh, share with you a video I, I made last year, uh, when it was much hotter, uh, about removing the, or just getting to the air filter on the Multistrada DVT. Uh, so it's anything from 2015 or above. It's not an easy process. The reason I had to do this in the first place was um, I put diesel in the bike, uh, which as you may know or may not know, uh, doesn't like it. So I had to uh, drain the tank and then get to the airbox to put in some like, accelerant, which is kind of like brake cleaner or anything that causes a spark, cleans it out uh, and then you're on your way. Unfortunately, um, I didn't know how to uh, take the airbox out of the, the bike. Uh, so yeah, it took a long time by the side of the road. Uh, it's not as easy as I thought it was, and certainly not as easy as the other bikes I've got. So I thought I'd share with you how I did that. Okay, so step one is re remove this panel. Then we'll remove, step two is remove this panel. And then we'll work around, around the bike to get all of these panels off. So to get rid of this panel first, there is a, uh, a three mil Allen key here and here. So next step is then to get this panel off and to, to, get, to loosen this off there are screws here, here and here and that element should come off as well. So now all of that side panel's off. Next step then would be to undo the tank fairing, this and at the top. Once the side panel's off, uh, we pop off the uh, emergency key cover and then undo these four screws to release this plate just here uh, and then this will slide out. So just undo these four screws first. The screws are uh, using a 4mm Allen key. So once those two screws are off on that side, you slide this out the whole unit comes out. Okay, so next step is to take this panel out and to take to get to this uh, the screws on this panel, you need to take the seat off. So the three bolts, uh, they're all 4mm Allen key. This, this plastic's off, that gives you access to this bolt here which allows you to take the, the, the top of the tank off. Again this is uh, a 4mm bolt. Now we've got rid of the top plastic so we need to get another two, another two bolts off. There's one here and there's one a little bit further down which I'll show you in a second. Then the last bolt for this side is just down from the light. Again 4mm. So with all of this side now taken off, we need to do the exact same for the other side of the bike. As I'm editing this video, I can see I've made a mistake. You don't have to take the petrol cap off before you remove the tank fairing. By leaving the cap in place, it means that once the tank fairing is off, you can easily remove the pipes connected to the tank without damaging them like I did and what you'll see in the, in the video. Okay, so the last step for taking this cowling off is undoing the, um, the petrol cap. This petrol cap stays with this, but you just need to untach the, detach these first. Once these come out, so this is a 4mm Allen key as well. So once this comes off, um, just be careful while pulling it off because there's two 
overflow pipes, one either side, that are connected. Uh, so you've got to just pull it off lightly first and then disconnect those pipes. Then you need to lift the tank fairing up, reach on underneath and disconnect both of the um, overflow fuel, fuel lines. One will be just a pull-on connector and the other one is sprung so you need to compress the spring and then pull it off. Once that's done you can take the tank fairing off. So, so as you can see here these are the two fuel lines that you would need to disconnect under the tank fairing and make sure you do disconnect them before trying to pull them off or you'll snap it. Before you pull the tank off you want to disconnect this bit first and in order to disconnect it just lift that flap up and then pull back on the wire. So to take the tank off you lift slightly, push forward just so that the it's off the hooks and then pull back. Just be careful And there is the air box. So once the tank is off, you get to the, um, the air box. To remove the air box cover, there are four screws on the initial cover. So there's one on each corner. So one there, one there, on the other side there, and down at the bottom. And then there's the cover uh, for this piece. There's two, two, two torque screws. All of these screws are T20. And then there's a little connector uh, which you just need to disconnect so you just pop off those two. Once that's done then you can take the top off to get to the air filter. And there it is, there's the air filter. Uh, so as you can see it's quite a lot of work, quite a lot of disassembly to get to this point.